Okay, ready? And let's go. All right. Welcome, girls. Welcome to the State of Mind podcast. I am Electra, student of Arash, motherfucking Divazar. If you don't know who he is, then you need to freaking, right after you watch this, go and find him, okay? Because I am everything because he's my everything, all right? This is the State of Mind podcast. This is for women, and this is designed to... You teach you the ways of the mind and how to deal with your emotions and how to deal with life, okay? Because just like you had 24 hours today, so did I, okay? And just like you had challenges of your body today, maybe you couldn't get it moving today. Maybe you didn't work out today, all right? Well, I also had challenges of the body today, but I fucking slapped that bitch up, okay? I killed it. I killed it, all right? And just like you had different emotions that come up, right? It's not always rainbows and butterflies and sunshine and, and flowers. Let's, let's, let's come to reality here, okay? We're all here on planet Earth, and we deal with these things called emotions that sometimes fuck us up, okay? Now, I also dealt with different emotions today. Now, looking at me, you may think, oh, no, you were fucking motivated all day. Yeah, fucking right, okay? Yeah, fucking right. I have a body, I have emotions, and I have a mind, okay? Why you're here today is because of the way that I dealt with all of this, okay? The way that I handled it, that's why you're, you're coming, okay? That's inappropriate, all right? But you're coming here to learn the teachings and the philosophy of Arash motherfucking Divazar that has made me who I am to you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I see some questions here, and I'll definitely um, answer any questions. So as things come up, type them, or if you have something right now, fucking type them, okay? We're going to start with these and then see if that gets anything flowing. If you're on Instagram, you can click the link that I pinned here, okay? Apparently, the link is not right, but... Click the link that I pinned here and come over to Zoom, okay? I see a lot of beautiful girls out here. Uh, Desiree, shout out to you and shout out to Rain Red on your fucking birthday here. That's what's up, okay? Oh, Geraldine in the house too with the camera on. If you ask me what would I want to do on my birthday, I would want to spend my day doing exactly what I do in my life, right? And that would be studying, working out, hanging out with people that I love. So I'm, I'm glad that you're here on your birthday. Happy fucking birthday from all of IMC Nation. All right. Uh, let's see. What's with sound quality? That's not a question. I think it's better now. I've uh, been having issues with people I call my friends lately. They always end up being a hater sooner or later. Well, that's a sign that, that you're doing something in life. You know what I mean? If you don't have any hate, then you need to wake the fuck up. And you need to speak the fuck up. And you need to fucking queen the fuck up. Okay? If you don't have any hate, then you are, you're you not doing shit in life. That's something that God has always taught me. Vanessa and Brie in the house. All my girls on tonight. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, so, look. that's That's... That's first, okay? Now, everyone has got a goddamn opinion about your life, right? Some people, some people are like this, right? You post or you have, you know, a new CD coming out or you post, you know, pictures of you getting more fit or whatever it may be, right? And you have the people in your life that are like, damn, girl, you're doing it. Okay? Those are your friends. Keep them around. And then you have the girls that only show up when you're, when you're doing bad in life. Okay? Now, differentiate the people in your life from haters and real friends. Now, sometimes, sometimes, friends can act like haters. It happens. That's called insecurity. That's why you want to try to surround yourself with, with, uh, with people and females that aren't insecure. Well, where are you going to find those? Okay, you have, you have females around you that pretend to not be insecure. Those, those bitches are insecure, okay? The first place that you can look is look at yourself. Don't look any further than 
the woman that's staring at you in the mirror. Don't look any further than the thoughts that you hold in your head. Now, those thoughts aren't you, okay? But if you consistently have those and you're basing your life off of those thoughts, then you got some shit to work on, okay? You got some shit to work on. Next Monday at 7 p.m., I'm going to be doing a, a live uh, event on confidence, Okay, to help you even see the insecurities that you don't even see. Okay, if you if you knew it all, then you'd have it all right now. Right? But so so the first the first position that you must take as a student is go, I actually don't fucking know it all. I'm insecure as fuck. Okay, I got a mind that's nuts that won't fucking stop. I wake up sad. I wake up depressed. Okay, now let's get started. Now you're ready to learn. Okay, and no better position than to be a student, right? It's like the one position that you could be like, okay, look, I actually don't know shit. Please teach me. You know, that, that's what I, I am a student every single day. Okay, when I'm in front of you, yes, I'm a teacher, but I'm a student every single day. Arash teaches me. I, I mean, I can't even breathe wrong. Literally, for 13 years, if I take a wrong breath or a wrong look, he calls my ass on it. Right? But that's, that's like, we're taking it back to like ancient, ancient, ancient tradition. You know, that martial arts, that, you know, that's, that's why there's so much focus and dedication because that's what it takes, right? You want a teacher and a mentor to go, hey, don't talk like that. You sound, you don't sound right, right? You want to come across up confident, but you don't, right? You want to, you want to, um, get the attention the right way, but the way that you're doing it is not right, right? You want to be told these things so that you can grow. This is how we grow. We don't grow when everything's, we don't grow when everything's comfortable. Marilyn, come over to Zoom. Okay, the link is uh, pinned right here. We don't grow when everything is comfortable. Same thing goes when you're working out, right? If you're comfortable working out, you got 10 minutes in a day, right? A little bit here, a little bit there. Okay, good that you're moving. Definitely changes your state and you, and you feel different. But your body's only going to change when you challenge it. Right? So even if you're in a position where you need a new job, good. That opens space for the best fucking job. But let's say you got that last one, right? You don't know that, that what's to come is even better than what you got right now. That's an, that's an IMC Nation philosophy is, hey, we don't complain about our fucking condition. We know that what's to come must be better. It fucking must be better because why the hell would I be going through this right now? You know, if, if, if one of my goals is to get stronger and to be, to be boss, to be a beautiful, a successful woman, if this is one of my goals, to be powerful, to be strong, to be all of these things, then it must take resistance. It must take exactly what you're going through right now. Exactly what you're going through right now. Nikki Bunny, what's up girl? Click the link in, uh, that's pinned, okay? And come over to Zoom if you can, okay? Or continue to watch on here, all right? We're killing it. Okay, so continuing. Uh, please, any questions too, if they come up, ask them. Okay, so Arash has always said, He's always told me, you know, because I don't always like if a challenge comes, I'm not always like, yeah, that shit feels good, right? No, that's why I have a fucking teacher, you know? 
I'm like, fuck, like I'm fucking struggling right now, right? And he's like, no, this is the challenge that you need. This is the fucking challenge that you need. Don't run from it. Don't fucking put your head under a blanket. Don't fucking, don't go back to your old ways or else you're never going to change. You want to become the new you, but you want to still be stuck in the old ways. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't fucking work like that. You're going to have to respond newly. You're going to have to respond different than the last time you did. Right? Maybe last time you got in an argument, you freaking blew your top and you know, you didn't like that you did that. Okay. Well, you're going to have to practice some fucking self-discipline to not do that again. And maybe you're not going to be able to do it. It's a fucking possibility that you're going to try and you're going to fail. Okay. Same thing goes with your diet or your workout. Right? You go, okay, cool. Got a new diet. Got my fucking workout plan. Right? And then, you go to just mute yourself. I don't know who I have to mute here, but. Geraldine, I think it may be you. There you go. Geraldine making all problems and shit. Uh, Nika, what's going on, girl? Okay, so uh, I was saying, Oh, so you're going to start your new diet, okay? You're going to start your new workout, all right? And then you go for it. And for whatever reason, you fucking cheat on your diet. Damn, that sucks, okay? Then what do you do? What do you do after that? Sometimes you feel bad about it, right? Sometimes you pop one tire, and then you go ahead and pop all other tires, that's like self-sabotage, right? You, you sabotage yourself. And you're like, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fucking eat shitty all day. Right? So you must, if you want change, if you want change in your life, and this is, this is what makes us feel, uh, feel alive is change then you must start to respond differently to life. Not, not in, your, in your same ways. You must, your schedule must change. You see that? Like if you want more success, your schedule has to change into a, you got to place in there more successful actions. Right? If you want a, a better body, then you got to place in there time to meal prep, time to get your workout in, right? Time to do walking, time to breathe, time to meditate, right? Now, if you want to have a, a successful state, right? Like a state of mind, a state of being, this is something that, that, you know, I, I, I could say that, you know, through Arash's teachings, I have an art to it, an art to living in a, in a very successful state, feeling good all day, right? Little ups and downs, fine, 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 okay? So if you want that, right, what does your schedule have to require? Well, this is where you get on mentorship program and learn the basics, right? I teach you. Have your morning routine, have your, your study time, have your breathing time. I teach you all of these things because there's a way to do it, you know, that, that you can, what you can use to heighten your state, your mind and your body and your emotions and everything, right? Okay, girls, any questions? It's 9.30, we're going to be ending at 10, okay? Oh. It's like a workout for me. Freaking sweating. I don't sweat. I listen. Okay. Thank you for waving me off, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If you were all here, you'd be around me waving me off like this. Okay. Um, any, <laughs> any questions, any comments, anything? So I actually have a question about goal setting. Oh, this is NECA. 
Neka, Neka. Um, in terms of like, you know, when people have a marathon, then you have like, okay, on in October, I have my marathon and therefore these are my steps for a marathon. Yeah. Um, and then you train properly. But for the lifestyle that we are wanting to live, one of like perfect health and beauty and things like that. Yeah. How do you like we have like the tools in terms of like we know what to do, but are there specific milestones that we can like check off? Like what would be a competition date? Like what would be the equivalent of something like that for oh, us? Let me see. Hold on, let me see let's see about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, look, there are things, it's a good question, by the way, right? There are things that, that naturally drive us to the next level, right? Okay, so I get to the gym today, right? Now, I was, was I feeling working out? No, I wasn't really feeling working out. I was kind of tired, right? But I was like, look, I'm going to go, okay? I'm going to fucking drink my five-hour energy, and I'm going to just start moving, right? I'm going to start moving. That's it. That's all I'm going to worry about right now. Now I got there. And I saw this girl looking at me and I could tell that, you know, something in me inspired her. I could feel it, right? Something woke up inside of me. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to show you how a motherfucking goddess killer fucking works out right now. Let's go, right? Why? Because that's, that's something that motivates me. It motivates me to inspire other women. Not in a, such a cheesy way, but it just does. I don't know why, it just does, right? So we need to know what motivates us first. You know what I mean? Right. What, 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 what motivates you? Does, does having um, health for, you know, a certain, like, other goal of yours, it doesn't have to be what you think it is. Right. A lot of people think like, oh, you know, oh, I'm supposed to like want a certain body. Hey, if that's not you, that's not you. Like, I don't have a vision of an ideal body anymore because I look the way I want to. This right. doesn't drive me anymore. Right. But what does drive me now to to keep my keep my uh, goals in check right now? Here's the thing. Your habits. And this is what you're learning. You're learning now. Your habits will create your life. Now, whether it's driving you or not driving you, or you have motivation or you don't have, have motivation, you have to know what is your ideal state? What is your ideal life? And what habits create this, right? So I didn't want to work out today, okay? But I knew that I was going to, and that's my discipline. You know what I mean? And then once I started, I fucking killed it. I was so glad. I was so glad I started because then I got my fucking music on. Now I start moving and that was enough. The, the girl left after that, but I was like, okay, let's fucking right. go. You know, I was in it, right? I had, I had the right energy level and then I, then I was good to go, right? So yeah, if you have these, these things that drive you, use them. If you have an event coming up, if you have a vacation coming up, if you have a, um, where you're going to see people and it, and it gets you moving, you want right. that does this to you. Like, Ooh, note, note these things. Look, you got to know yourself better than you know, anybody. You got to know what motivates you. You, you got to know what makes you sad. You got to know what makes you uncomfortable. You, you have to know what, what, uh, what the way that you like to feel throughout the day. You know, you got to know, you got to know how you respond to hate. How do you respond to, um, to being uncomfortable? How do you respond to somebody yelling at you? How do you know, you got to know these things because, because then you can, you can change it if you need right. to, right? You got to map yourself out. I know myself. I know that if I just step in that gym and I start moving, I'm fucking set, right? And now then, then it's up to me. It does take discipline. Mm -hmm. This, this life takes discipline. I didn't get here because I fucking didn't exert discipline. Right. Discipline, right. And it's not discipline from anybody else. It's self-discipline. It's then I start running and I go, okay, 
okay, now it's me against whatever the fuck is keeping me from just killing it in life. It's me against my my goddamn insecurities. It's me against my hate. It's me against all that fucking weak ass energy that entered me today that tried to try to slow me down. It's me against my mind, right? That when I work out, th- that's what comes up for me, right? right. And it's me uh, in, you know, also with the ability to stand up uh, stand up here in front of you girls as your teacher, right? Like, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit the fuck up here if I didn't fucking push myself the way that I know is possible today. You know that you are at an elevated level versus other people when you are like, you know, in every day in every way, you know, you say you're getting better and better how how did you know you were improving or like how could you check on yourself and kind of like test yourself to make sure that you weren't just being stagnant even you know when you take one step it feels like a big change but continuously pushing yourself and elevating yourself uh so just to clarify the question how do i keep pushing myself or so i guess like but it's a tracking so if you sometimes like if you're not tracking yourself, you don't know if you're doing better. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You know what I mean. I also I check in. What, there's a few different things. One, like be able to be able to see where you're at, right? And if you if you actually are making progress, now you need to be able to measure, right? So if we're talking about weight loss. How do you measure this? Well, you can measure it with pictures in the fucking mirror once a week. You can measure it on the scale. You can measure it in inches. You can measure it in clothes, right? So yes, you should measure how you're doing, right? Now, how do you measure your your personal evolution? Well, measure how much you're studying, how much you are, you notice if you, that's why challenges are good because challenges give you, hey, last time I handled this like this and now this time around man i was a little bit better right now something that arash has always taught me is you know because i spent years of a lot of negative self-talk you know that's why i can i can stand up here with confidence is because i was once insecure the reason why I can take you through your through through your anxiety is because I had anxiety. Right? The reason why I can take you to loving yourself because I didn't love myself. Right? The reason why I can take you to getting to a, a beautiful body is because every single day I work for it. This shit does not I don't just wake up like this. It's been years of of energy and time and dedication and focus, right? That's what I appreciate about, you know, people that put in their time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can study me for three months, okay? You can study me for six months. All right, but then where are you at? Where are you at when when money gets tough? Where are you at when, when your time gets a little limited, right? Where are you at when, when you now get into a new relationship? You see that? It first takes a moment of dedication. I dedicated my, this is what a, a woman does, is dedicates herself to a path, to a man. Right? 13 years ago, I dedicated myself to a rush, 100% or nothing at all. And it's an, it's an everyday, it's an everyday ordeal. You know, uh, what was the question? I think you, you answered it. It was like about tracking your mindset yeah. and how, oh. how to know if you've actually been growing. And yeah, but, I, you, uh, yeah, I will say one more piece on that, okay? Is you've been taught to, you've been taught and you've been made to believe that it's better if you down talk yourself 
like your friends are okay if you if you lessen yourself right that everybody else in your life around you is more okay with you when you're not feeling super good or you're not feeling super confident right you've been made you've been made to believe that that it's better when you're not as great okay and that is some false that's some false hater shit <laughs> Okay, so what do you have to do? You have to learn to genuinely admire yourself. You know, you gotta take wins as they come. Like, like the fact that you're on here tonight, win. The fact that you had a realization and you made a decision about something that's gonna happen tomorrow, win. The fact that you decided that you're going to make a new schedule for your workouts or your life, win, right? Look, I'm taking the wins as they come, right? I win when I get to the gym. Hell yeah, I fucking made it. I win when I get on that treadmill and I start running and I win even more when I start fucking killing it, right? So all day. I'm counting my wins. I'm not counting my losses. Right? Because there's losses. There were some things that I didn't quite, you know, whatever. But I don't, I just, I literally can't even think of them. Right? But this is a, this is a, a, uh, a principle that Arash has taught me. He's like, hey, look, you're going to accumulate more of what you focus on. So you got to start to count your wins. Right? You wake up in the morning and you get out, you, you fucking get out of bed. Win. You go, hell yeah, girl. Good fucking job. Okay? Because no one is gonna be your biggest, your biggest fan. You have to be your number one fan first. All day, I'm like, go Electra, go Electra, you killing it, you killing it, go, 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 right? Hey, right? All that that's me. Okay? So you count your wins. You count your win when you, when you get out of bed sharp, right? You count your win when you get your study in, when, when your makeup looks good, when you take your fucking selfie of the day, when you, when you go to work and you accomplish your tasks, right? We've been taught to focus on all the, the negative shit, right? The negative emotions, how we didn't handle something right, how, you know, this happened or that happened, okay? This is where you, you have to train your mind, Right? It takes training, okay? Because, again, you may find yourself in the middle of the day focusing on, on the bad shit. That's where this comes in, right? You hear my voice, you see me popping up on your shoulder like the little devil that I am, right? And a cute little outfit, okay? Going, stop talking bad to yourself. Shut the fuck up. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So... So one of, so something that you can do, right, is count like all of the wins even before you go to sleep, you know, take a look at all of the, the good things that you did and, and then project all of the, the good things that you're going to implement tomorrow. Now, maybe you won't implement all of them. Okay. Look, I have, I have strived for perfection. I have strived to be the fucking best. And when I say the best, I mean the fucking best. I don't want to be second to no one. And I'm not in my world anyway. Right. In my world is what it counts. Okay. Uh, but what I've come to realize over the years of, 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 you know, all of this focus and effort and, and push and drive and all of that is you, you can't really rush the process. Like, you got to get better at the pace that, that you get better at, right? So tomorrow, you just got to do a little bit better, right? Like, you're not going to be extremely confident if you have no confidence just off of one lecture, right? But not a lot of people are willing to go through the process, it's like, yeah, if you want to look, if you want to look incredible, 
If you want to be the number one trainer, if you want to be the number one salesperson, if you want to have a fucking um, uh, a CD on the charts, top 10 charts, right? If you want to be a model, whatever the fuck you want to do. That shit takes time. But that's what we want. Right? We want that. We, that that's, that's what we respect. Is not, not the person that was, you know, born into wealth. And that's cool. But the bitch that just never fucking gave up. That's even, that's, that's dope shit. That's, this is IMC Nation shit. It's like, look, we weren't handed all the cards, okay? We weren't handed royalty cards when we, when we were born. We fucking stole those cards, right? We weren't handed all of the admiration and love and respect and praise that we have right now. We weren't handed that shit. We worked for that shit. And yeah, we had, a, we had hate. We had, we had people that wanted to stop us. Even our close family and friends, you know? Shit. They're like, wait, hold on. So you're not going to go to college. Okay. So you're going you're gonna to just, you, wait, you're not going to live the way that I wanted you to live? Honey, you choo-choo. Are you sure about that? I don't know, that's kind of awkward, right? Right? Oh, you don't want to come to Thanksgiving because you don't celebrate Thanksgiving? Oh, that's a problem too. Okay, right? All right, so let me see. So you, you don't want to be anything like us. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Now, if you were doing super good in life, maybe I would. Okay? But... I'm, I'm seeking some experience that we can write in the fucking, that we can write in the, in the history books. Right? Like, what are they going to say about, how, about you? What are they going to say about the way that you ha handled you, you, um, your rejection of job? What are they going to say when, about your weight loss story? What are they going to say about you becoming famous? What are they going to say about, right? What are they going to say about you? Every day you write your character. And you don't have to be your parents. Take the good qualities. They got some good qualities. Okay, all good. We're here to learn, right? We're here to take all the good qualities and notice all the bad qualities so we don't take that shit on. Right? Oh, you you didn't speak up when you were when you were younger? Oh, oh you didn't speak up? Oh, I'm not going to take that one on. I right. oh, you you gave up on your goals and dreams and and all of that? Oh, I'm not going to take that one on. So then we have to find things that inspire us. Right? And Arash has always said, you got to stay connected to what inspires you. Okay? For sure. All right? What's up, what's up, what's up, girls? I'm going to be done soon, okay? But of course, if you want, you can click the link that I pinned, okay, and come over to Zoom. If there's any questions, I, I would love to hear... Uh, somebody else's voice other than mine. Is there any questions? If not, I'll wrap it up. I have one more question if no yeah. one else does. And so go ahead. You're here. Go ahead. Okay. So um, I saw on Instagram, Arash made this video about securing the bag and how women shouldn't be focused on securing the bag, that that's the man's job to do that. But yeah. for women who are not partnered or single, what is your goal when you're like going out every day and, you know, going to work and stuff like that, if it's not securing the bag? And I understand because it's like a masculine energy. Yeah. What, what should we be doing? Well, look, you have to make a living, okay? And you have to make a living so that you can uh, live the life that you want, right? And so your focus as a female, your focus as a female, all right. Now this may upset some people. Okay. And if it upsets you, then get off my shit. All right. Cause I'm here to bring you truth. That's it. Okay. It's not fucking Electra's opinion. 
right? This is this is some studied shit. Um. Anyway, screen the bag. Okay, what is your what is your job as a female until you have a man that can take care of you? What is your job? Take care of yourself so that you look incredible. That's one of the main jobs. Now that may make you a little, a little weird inside, some of you, okay? But you gotta get over that, all right? Because what does a man, what does a man judge first? Not how intelligent you are, not that you're a fucking hustler, not that 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 you, you I don't know, whatever, you fill it in, okay? A man's gonna judge you off of off of the way that you look. Okay, that's first, right? Garen, if you were five times hotter than you are right now, let's just take it five times hotter. Life would be different. Life would be fucking different. Do you see how much easier a man, a, a, a man would, you know what I mean? That could take care of you, it, it would be to get, right? So these are the facts. We just can't deny it, right? You can fight it all day long, but it's the fucking facts. So what is your job as a female? One, get your body to look really good. That's your fucking job. Focus on that shit. Okay? Look bomb for you. Just, you don't have to look like me. You don't have to look like fucking sister over there or sister over here or whatever, right? You got to look your best. That's your first job. Two, you, you make, a, make a living on something. If you have a passion, then that's even better because that's just fulfilling as fuck, right? Yeah. It's fulfilling as fuck if you can do something that you really enjoy, okay? But if it's not something you, that you enjoy, you, you just go, okay, look, I'm going to work and I'm going to fucking make my money and I'm going to invest my money into... It's, it's this way. We're good. I don't know how much more I could do on that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, and your ass is in there. Everybody, Hannah's ass, inspiration number two. Uh, so, I lost my train of thought. Oh. If you can do something that you're passionate about, that's going to be even better, okay? If you can't, then you make your money and you use your money and you be smart with your money, okay? You invest it into bettering your state of mind so that you are, you're better, right? You invest it into a trainer. You invest it in, in becoming the best female version of yourself. Then, then it's easier to find a man, right? Okay, does that make sense? Because you you gotta you you know you got you gotta find a man, okay? You're not gonna be some uh, old single lady. That's gonna be that's not what I'm teaching here. Okay, okay, good. I'll take one more question. If not, I'm gonna wrap it up. Anything? If not, it's all good. Okay, very good. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up and put a bow on it. All right. Okay, let's see. What do you need to do? What do you need to know? Okay, so look, next Monday at 7 p.m. All right, I pushed it a week because I, I want you girls to be on it. Okay, and I want you to be able to figure out your money so that you can be on it. Okay, and it just worked out for me, better scheduling wise. All right. So next Monday at 7 PM is going to be heart of courage. It's not about being confident. It's the courage to be confident, right? It's not about faking confidence. You know what I mean? Yes. There'll be times to do that. Okay. Yeah. There'll be times when when you need, a, you need to show that you're confident, 
in a job interview, in a, in a social setting or something like that, right? We're going to dig a little bit deeper into this. Okay, so you, you as a, as a being, your essence can start to come out. And in the right way, right? It's always annoying when somebody is like weirdly confident, right? You're like, you're uncomfortable, right? And you're making everyone uncomfortable, all right? So you know what? You don't want to have that sort of confidence, right? It's a, it's an essence. It's different. It's, it's a, it's a belief in oneself, you know, genuinely. So we're going to, we're going to go through it. We're going to go through it on Monday. Okay. So I really want you girls to be a part of it. All right. Do whatever you can. Okay. Put it on a goddamn credit card, borrow it from somebody. I don't know, figure it out. Okay. Figure it out because, because I guarantee you, if you were two notches up, in your confidence level, life would be different. Can you take your phone? What's that? In a few minutes, I can. Yeah, I said phone too. Can you turn on the lecture? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he knows. I'll, I'll be done in two minutes. Okay. Uh, if you were two notches up in your confidence, your job situation would be different. Your relationship would be different. Your body would be different, right? So this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a, a, a game changer for you, a game changer for you for real. Okay, so gonna be next Monday, only ninety seven. All right, figure it out. Okay, the link is somewhere. All right, it's in, in my post or something like that. Okay, you can find it if you really want to. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. That was a pleasure for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Okay. So shout all about it. All right. Make your voice heard and beautiful and melodious. And that's what we do. Okay. Make sure you get onto the mentorship program and success program. I mean, we're killing it. If you're on, if you're on this program, then we have a thread that, that I, I'm, I'm texting you girls on the daily, right. And it keeps you, uh, it keeps you on it. Okay. It's like you're in contact with me every single day. So that does something that does something for your life. It does something for your energy. It does something for your mind. Okay. So if you girls want to be on that, go ahead and register. Okay. Like Arashi Bazaar always says, be the best and fuck the rest. This is IMC Nation. There is nothing like us. Okay. So don't treat us the same. All right. See you girls soon.